hey what's up guys Harsh here and back with a new video so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can root your Vivo Y21L so there are some few steps which you need to keep in mind before rooting your device first you need to install Kingo root in your PC second you need to enable USB debugging on your mobile device for to enable USB debugging you need to go to your settings and then you need to click on phone oh I'm sorry not phone you need to click on more settings and then about phone and then you need to tap this thing this is the software version four to six times and as you can see it's written now you are a developer okay so after this you just need to click on back okay so now if you scroll down you will see a developer options you will click on it and you will enable USB debugging okay so now let me just enable USB debugging I don't know where it is um, on USB debugging where are you okay so here it is as you can see USB debugging you need to enable this so now I have enabled USB debugging okay so this is it which you want to do before you are rooting your device and um, a battery of 70% or more is recommended but I am doing it with a battery of 43% so let's get started and try it so now I will connect it to my original USB cable and you need to follow the steps on the computer as I do. Okay so down to download Kingo root I have the links down in the description you need to click on that and your installation will start. After installing Kingo root you need to click on close and then you need to open Kingo root. Okay so as you can see it's automatically open let me just bring it down. Okay so now it's rooting now it's saying installing, installing the white driver can see here is my phone okay so it's downloading a device um, I'm sorry a driver software as you can see it's already done three percent I'll just pause this video okay so now the driver installation is complete and a pop-up has came and it is saying do you like to install this software I'll just click on install because I want to root my phone and now I think it's installing the driver okay so now we will wait for some time Okay, so a uh, pop-up has came in my mobile it's saying allow USB debugging I'll just click on allow always allow connections from this computer and I'll click on ok okay so a notification has also popped up in my computer and now it's saying connecting please enable USB debugging mode I have already enabled it and now so a option has came and it's of root so I'll just click on root okay so I think now the process has started to root my mobile I'll just wait okay so as you can see an application has already been installed on my mobile and it's of Kingo root it's saying 23% done and connected and on my PC it's saying 35% done okay so let's us just wait for a few more minutes and test the outcomes so it's already been 5 to 7 minutes and it is struck on 23% on my mobile and 35% on the computer I'll just wait for a few more minutes and if it doesn't work I'll try to figure out something else okay so as you can see it became 37% after me waiting for 10 minutes and now it's 37% on my mobile as well okay now it has been converted to 38 so I think we should wait and we cannot do anything okay so it's downloading some files as you can see it's downloading some files so I think it will depend upon the internet connection which you are using okay so when my device was at 73% it rebooted okay so I don't know what was the point of rebooting I guess probably it has installed some of the files which were necessary for rooting that's why it rebooted okay so as you can see after me waiting for at least 30 minutes my device has now been rooted as you can see root succeed, succeeded um, as you can see it's my mobile and it has installed 3 files on my mobile this is this super battery, um, the Kingo link and the super SU file. Okay, so as you can see this is my mobile and this is my computer and now my mobile is rooted. I can do whatever I want with this thing. And so this was all in this video. If you guys have made it till the end, please drop a like to this video and I'll see you in the next one.